I'm down Kensington, it's three in the morning. And it's like high noon, people everywhere, walking, getting high, going on about their business. Right here, Kate and Allegheny. But look, right here is a street, a residential block that people pay taxes. I'm sure people pay taxes because the lights are on. And I'm sure some people around here have children that have to come out every day and look at this. So if you got a five-year-old, six-year-old that want to run to the store, this is what they got to deal with and see every day. This is an open-air drug market. Who district is this? Who is the alderman around here? Who is the city council person around here? You know, when I talk about racism and separatism and so many things that happen to us every day, all this is a vicious game they play on us. All this is a vicious game. And they play this game well. They don't care nothing about none of us. White, black, green, brown. They play this game on everybody. See, but they need participants. They need you to get involved to make it happen. But my thing is, to the people that live around here, they pay, they pay their taxes, why are they not marching? Why are they not protesting? Why are they not blocking the streets and say, look, we ain't having this no more. Look at all this trash. These people are out here morning, noon, and night getting high, nodding. And people got kids around here. You know, not too long ago, this used to be predominantly Irish and Polish around this area. The Irish and the Polish people used to be around here. It used to be a bowling alley over here somewhere. I used to come here years ago. And now, now look. See, this is how gentrification works. See, they have take and pick an area in the city when they want to seize control of the city and they drop drugs in there. They basically give out drugs for free. And they say, you know what? We're going to run this program for five, 10 years to mostly all the old people die off or move out. And we're going to buy these houses on penny or on the dollars. Well, how are you going to do that? Oh, well, we're going to go down there. We're going to pay off city hall. We're going to pay off city council. We're going to pay off LNI. We're going to pay off the police district. We're going to pay everybody off to let us do our thing. That's how they do. Well, what about the kids? What about the baby? Fuck them babies. They're not our babies, so we don't care nothing about them babies. This is why I always say, what is the babies going to do? Because we don't care about them. See, and in the midst of this, they throw racism in. Oh, well, you know, the cops is treating black people wrong. Newsflash. The cops been treating us wrong for years because our own people, our own political leaders, our own religious leaders allow it to happen. Bullies only be bullies when people let the bully smack them and bully them around. When you smack that motherfucking bully back, he going to back up. Y'all just got to pay attention. Racism covers all spectrum. They just use that word racism and say, well, you know, white people hate blacks. But when I last checked, a lot of blacks hate themselves. If a woman lets a man into her house and leaves that man in her house alone with, his, with her kids and that man molests and rapes her kids, is it the woman's fault or is it the child molester's fault? Who fault is it? Or is it both of their fault? It's the same thing right right now. Is this these people fault to come down here and do drugs and sleep on these corners? Or is it the people fault that serve them the drugs to, to get high? Is it the city fault to let these people hang out in this residential area and get high and sleep and fart and shit all over the place all day? Is it the police fault? Or is it the drug and dope fiends fault? Who fault is it? Because it's enough blame to go around. My whole thing is we can't keep making excuses for what we're not doing individually. It's just like 
two days ago when the uh, Lowe's came and installed a door to my next door neighbor house, the screen door and the front door. And when they left, they left the, the old screen door across the street where they were parked at, uh, right across the street from my house is a park. When they pull off, I see it. I knock on my next door neighbor door. Hey, yo, them people left the door. She said, man, I ordered it from Lowe's. She gave me the number. I called Lowe's. I said, if y'all don't come get this fucking door within the next hour, I'm taking this door and I'm taking it to Aramingo Avenue to your Lowe's and I'm throwing it in the middle of the fucking floor. Oh, so, sorry, sir. Within an hour, they had somebody come move that door. So I'm saying that to say all these things that take place and goes on is because of participation or lack thereof. You know, I think some of us need to look up the definition of a man. What is a man? What is his duty? What is his job description? I can't sit back and say the white man did this or the white man did that. Because when I look at city council, I think nine of the members are black. And they get probably over 100000 a year to make sure that these neighborhoods are ran properly, clean. But you mean to tell me that your daughter or son that live in this area got to go catch this train and they got to see this every day? Is this what we saying? All I'm saying is sometimes we all got to look in the mirror at ourselves. Because regardless of what I say or what you say, we all got a part to play. All of us. And you can't blame it on the police. You can't blame it on nobody but ourselves. So until we band and get together and say, you know what, man, I'm going to do my little part. Until we do that, it's only going to get worse. Because somebody making money off selling these drugs down here. Somebody making money in these crisis hotline centers for these people being down here. But we got to pay. We got to pay taxes, water bill, electric bill, gas bill, insurance mortgages for this bullshit are y'all serious if you come past here i guarantee you 20 30 years from now this would be a whole new area because you know what they're going to do they're going to buy the houses for cheap they're going to move everybody out and then they're going to come with the street sweepers they're going to look if you're out here they're going to lock you up and throw away the key and they're going to redo these streets redo these businesses and all you'll see is white yuppies down here. Watch what I tell you. Because if you go down the street from right here at Kensington and Allegheny, right down the street is I-95. I-95 would take you up New York, all the way up to Boston, to all the way down to the Florida Keys. So they know what they're doing. But it's up to us to protect our little utopia. It ain't the white man's fault. It ain't the black man's fault. It's all of our faults because we all participating in it. And with that said, truly may the force be with all of us.